There is something I didn't do. I didn't tell you, a beautiful cocksucker today. But buddy, you're beautiful as hell today. It's Wednesday. This shit is almost over. Make it into the weekend. Buy some cocaine and fuck some hookers all day evening. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Get your head straight. Finish this assignment right now. Get this shit through. Alright, fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, number four, don't worry about it. It's incredible. We've made it here. Can you believe it? Halfway through the week, Wednesday, midday, we're out here. Let me just do a little one thing just so nothing gets a little messed up here. Um, I can't believe it, dude. It's like week 17 of 2024 um, in terms of earth day earth day just happened the past weekend happy earth day uh, you know mother nature mother earth um all that shit but like i gotta be honest with you like i think mother earth really been fucked up with the you know like birth control or whatever because that's like the chemicals that were like let's just imagine that right so like a chick, right? She wants to go on birth con, or let's just say she does go on birth control. She's putting chemicals in her body, right? That's how it works, right? Some chemicals and hormones, they react and then blah, blah, blah. Things happen, right? Biologically. I'm saying that's what's happening to mother earth right now. We're fucking throwing all these chemicals at her, right? And her body, this whole thing that's going on doesn't know how to react. So then in ways, that it's so fucking unpredictable, like Jesus fucking Christ, you know, when a chick is on birth control, and like the first week she's on the new one, it's like she's, you're going, she's not even acting like herself, it's like she's, either she's like a drone of herself, or she's like a fucking psycho killer type of deal, you know, when she's on the birth control, you just can't deal with it too much, the first week, she's all over the place, you're like, oh, Jesus, that's what's happening with Mother Earth right now, so, yes, the past weekend, Mother Earth, Earth Day, whatever, shout out to fucking Earth Day, I guess, but I know there's motherfuckers somewhere along the equator who are dying of 50 degree weather and then while we're up here in the fucking north we're getting snowed on like a motherfucker like this shit is december or something bro dude i'll believe in the fucking you know aztec calendar for all i care if it means that there's fucking snow snow storms in goddamn april Okay, this is not normal and shit. We ain't in our Antarctica. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing around here? We're not in goddamn Antarctica anymore. This shit is fucking ridiculous. Let's stop it. Okay, Earth Day, Mother Earth. We're not going to hit you with fucking chemicals anymore because this birth control shit is getting out of control. Like, you can't react to it. You're getting, like, you're getting wet when you're not <laughs> hey hey that's all i'm saying mud ma like she, this broad is getting out of hand so we got to control that anyways how's everyone else doing at least a little bit of sunshine now but i mean i'm taking vitamin d's like a motherfucker okay i've never had so much d in my life you know i'm turning gay at this point i swear to god um it's fucking ridiculous like i'm du i'm triple quadruple dosing this shit just because those days that I don't even take one, it's the comp it's like, you know, I just want to shove a D down my throat and just choke on it and just fucking die, you know? It's fucking ridiculous. This shit. Don't you feel that, guys? This fucking whole shit with the rain and the weather, it just fucks with your head sometimes, you know? Because you expect it to be one way and, you know, that's always something that fucks with a human's head. But anyways beautiful cocksuckers wednesday midday here there's a lot of shit you still gotta do to make it to the fucking weekend and blow off a little bit steam 
Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, right? This is fucking ridiculous. At this point, it's... Yo, I'll tell you what. It's worse than fucking Dubai. I don't know what... Look, at least Dubai, they're like... They're not, they don't give a fuck about Earth Day, okay? They, first of all, that they just know that's Western propaganda. <laughs> but anyways, what the fuck is Earth Day? Like, seriously, they're out there fucking literally trying to control the weather. And then they have a fucking flash flood that pretty much, like, makes all the planes at the airport look like fucking boats. And then, <laughs> and then, and then still somehow this shit is worse because that shit they got the oil money to fucking infrastructure that bullshit to fix it right away anyways and they they control their own media so it doesn't fucking matter here it fucking snows one extra day i swear to fucking god it's like half the tax revenue of the government fucking cut off like right there with one bad day of fucking snow it's fucking ridiculous D D Dubai will straight up have a fucking tsunami come down from the sky and they're fine. But a country like us that we're so, we're, we're, you know, we're so advanced. We take one fucking and everyone's pissed. Suicide rates go up. <laughs> and then on top of the fact that the tax revenue just gets cut to shit. Oh my god, it's rough out here, dude. It's Mother Nature's really she hey, look, I'll say this with the, from the bottom of my heart. We raped Mother Nature and Mother Nature is raping us back now. Like that's just how it goes, guys. It's karma. You it it, it works both ways. We we're, we're trying, we're trying some parts we're trying to help, some parts we don't give a fuck, okay? That's my take on goddamn weather. I, I must be a goddamn professional at fucking icebreakers at this point. You know, people go, you know, first conversation, people strike up against, uh, you know, with one another. It's just, you know, you know, the, the weather has been crazy. Well, then let me fucking tell you one or two things about the fucking weather. All right. Oh, God. Let me take a sip of water. That was uh, that was a fucking fast pace to get this thing started it's wednesday it's everyone's trying to enjoy their lunch break right now at least you know the viewers from this country you know but guys you got to make sure you eat healthy also on a wednesday i feel like if you because guys the inevitable drunk past midnight fucking you know greasy food run is gonna be inevitable during the weekend and at this point if you're drunk enough and with this economy it's 20 it's 25 euros if you want to have a good old grease fest of a feast grease fest that, that that was really good i don't know where i came up with that but you just you know like because nowadays i swear with the inflation it's actually fucking insane my favorite place to look at the inflation is just mcdonald's prices what the fuck is a burger going to cost? What the fuck does a cheeseburger meal cost? And then you start doing the math and then all of a sudden you start thinking like, Jesus Christ, it don't look too good as of right now. But let's just say, okay, so Mother Earth, birth control, we've already gone through a couple of fucking tough subjects. But I really wanted to talk about one thing uh, today, which is the fucking rap beef that has gone down this fucking year like just seemingly out of the blue like i thought everybody was like kind of cool with each other and that everything was flourishing but truthfully guys you know i've been on this rant multiple times and i'm gonna try to steer away from this topic as much as i can in terms of like you know this side of the topic but Kanye was the one who fucking kicked it off, all right? He's fucking dropped the vultures, which is basically a fuck you to the whole music industry, right? And then motherfuckers basically naturally just had to take a side. Was it like, you know, and then Kendrick was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna keep it real. And then that's what he does. It, that's what he did. March 22nd, I got it right here documented. March 22nd, We Don't Trust You, collab album with Metro Boomin and Future Drops, okay? And in that, they have a song called Like That, okay? And it features Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar drops a verse. He, said, he says things like, fuck sneak this in, 
first person shooter, which was a song that J. Cole and Drake had collabed on in Drake's For All the Dog album. So he was first so he refers to this song where J. Cole says, you know, the big three is Kendrick Lamar, Drake, and J. Cole. That's the big three, right? So then we go to first person shooter. He says, fuck sneak this and first person shooter. I can't I hope they came with three switches. So I hope like, you know, he just makes that quick correlation of like first person because it's he says it's the big three, right? J. Cole says, I feel like the big three is it K Doc is is it K Dot? Is it Aubrey or me? Right? And then now after that bar, he goes on a little bit more, Kendrick, and then he says, Mother fuck the big three. Homie, it's just me. It's just big me, you know? And he even says, Your work, your best work is a light pack, Prince Outlive Mike Jack, which I thought just was one of the hardest fucking bars ever because Kendrick Lamar has performed with Prince and then, you know, they've like actually done a live performance together while Drake has dropped a song featuring Michael Jackson, but that was after Michael Jackson had died and he just bought like Michael Jackson's, you know, pre recorded shit. So that was also like, and then the fact that Prince actually physically did outlive Mike Jack saying like, dude, the way I'm doing it, I'm going to outlive you. So I got nothing to worry about. Um, <clears throat> fucking ridiculous. Just fucking ridiculous. But that's just like the first thing. That's just the first thing. March 22nd. So then after that, we let that simmer. We let that simmer. We're like, oh shit, what the fuck is going to happen now? What the fuck? Who's going to say what? April 5th, might delete later, J. Cole drops a surprise album and he says right off the, like he drops fire shit, like the fire surprise album is fire, it's fire, I love the fucking, you know, in terms of bangers in one album of like the projects that have all dropped so far, it's very, you know, I can't compare it to Vultures, but still, and then he says, Second bar into the seven minute drill, which is the last song of the album where he respond. This is his response. He said he's still doing shows, but fell off like the Simpsons. Just like simple, like second bar. He's saying some straight up shit like that to Kendrick. And then he but he's still at the end of the day, he still he says like a lot of disses. You know, I personally think it was a little bit corny and we're getting to that. And he he still says like lord don't make me have to smoke this homie because i fuck with him like he still respects him j cole still likes kendrick but he's just like he's like he kind of just has to do this you feel like he has to do this two days later j cole performs in his own dreamville festival he headlines on a sunday with Nicki minaj and then at one point during his performance what does he do bam he goes on a speech he says he's felt horrible the last past two days about dropping the song. He regrets dropping the song. He likes Kendrick. He wants nothing but the best for Kendrick. It's all love. He didn't want to do this. So technically, apology. He did, right? And then he says, okay, I'm going to take seven-minute drill off. April 12th, seven-minute drill is uh cannot be streamed anymore on any of the fucking services right so and then a lot of people in the rap community were just like fuck drake uh, j cole because he's like a pussy right like that's he's literally he's a pussy <laughs> you know fucking pussy you fucking nerd <laughs> you fucking geek dude you're you know what you're fucking gay dude <laughs> but you know in my opinion j cole said what he felt from the bottom of his heart and i feel like people got to respect him for that and i personally think too kendrick didn't fuck up i think kendrick was also just kind of speaking from the bottom of his heart i don't even think it was really aimed at them it was more just like yeah you know just this is how i feel you know i'm just vibing fuck you like why do i have to belong to a group i'm just vibing here by myself and shit Okay, but that's that, that's what you thought was all the uh, J. Cole apologized. And then and then so like 
on the same day, we still don't trust you. Part two of Future and Metro Boomin's album drops. It's a longer project. It's more. It's more just like you know, just I don't know. It's more a little bit more mediocre in the sense that you know, like it's just the songs are. You know, I'm gonna keep it real like that without saying too much. But the weekend comes in takes a couple jabs at drake anyway just fuck around just fuck around you know just to just a couple more clicks you know and a couple more streams but i like it It was good music there were a couple of great songs red leather probably gonna be one of my top played songs of the year um and then just a couple days ago we get we get push-ups by drake he he had it had it leaked maybe a couple days prior it might have leaked a couple days prior it might have people had speculations if it was ai he had and then he dropped another song as well with ai which i thought we're not even going to mention because if you talk about ai stuff i just i'm not going to mention it and just that move alone sorry drake i'm going to have to take down the respect level like a couple down notches down because if you're making music with AI, not even like I get it, it was like to fuck around and shit. But nah, dude, like you gotta stay away from that shit. If you're an actual artist and shit, and if you're a real artist, like stay away from that shit. But when Kanye does it for a music video, then it's worth it. <laughs> so fuck you, Drake. Anyways, um, this world April nineteenth. Let's just say two days ago, um, it was like the leaks are very not specific. So then you know like a couple days after we still don't trust you he drops push-ups he responds it's cutthroat it's a long song too it's like three it's almost four minutes yeah it's almost four minutes of just you know jake doing his own thing and you know i gotta respect him he has very good bars he was very upfront. it wasn't like he was sneak dissing he was dissing and then last but not least we get to last weekend where when we thought everyone has responded the way they have responded, no one else really could come in and really have like a like a productive say in things or anything. And Kanye just about comes in. What is look because I'm the Kanye fan, right? Like everyone else's bars, I'm not gonna t- dig too deep into it. What is what is Kanye? What is Kanye's perspective in all this? Okay. What is his perspective? He says, it's a rap for homies. It's a rap. Where's Lucian? Serve your master. You caught a little bag for your master, didn't you? Lifetime deal I forbade for homies. He said that. He said, which means... He thinks that Drake and J. Cole, they're just caught up in this Illuminati, Illuminati first world order type of deal. He thinks J. Cole and Drake are just completely controlled by Lucian, whoever this, the probably the devil, that Hollywood fucking cult, they, you know, right? Because this is how it is. Right, absolutely. So Ye comes out and tells the truth. He's like, he's like, first I do this shit. Right, first he drops a couple of bars just to just let people know that he's still the shit. I just fucked your bitch in the Sean John tank top. First of all, how good is this bar? I don't think I've heard better modern poetry that is as striking and effective as this bar. You treat a bad bitch like she average. I treat a bad bitch like a fat bitch. <laughs> like, just when you thought, like, he couldn't step it up a notch. Like, you you treat a bad bitch like she average. Like, you're that baller. That if she's a bad bitch, you're still treating her like, yeah, whatever. But then, I'm so... You know how f- fucked up I am? <laughs> I treat a bad bitch like a fat bitch, dude. Like she, like, like it doesn't even make sense. Why the fuck would you even treat a bad bitch like a fat bitch? Like it doesn't even click in your fucking head, right? Like that's, 
That's poetry. Right there. Poetry in the purest form. And he goes on, he goes on. It, it, it's it, the fact that he says something like still feel like Pablo. Like it just as a Kanye fan, you feel that just your heart beating. But this is what I'm saying, guys. Why do you think Mother Earth is angry at us right now? Why is there flash floods in Dubai? The grass is catching on fire while it's wet in China. And in Finland, it's snow storming, storming in April. Why is that? It's because of Lucian. It's because the greatest, the, the most streamed, most important artist of our time right now, which is Drake, he's controlled by the elitist Illuminati First World Order, and he has to do everything for them. And so that, that's the reason why this this world in itself is fucking crazy right now. The inflation, like I talked to you about, burger prices are going up. Fucking, I don't want to spend 30 euros on one fucking meal. I don't. Even if it's a fucking average fucking meal. What what happened to motherfuckers who wanted, who really liked appetizers? Or starters, you know? Motherfucker, I loved starters. What the fuck? Now I can't, as a fucking regular man, buy some fucking starters? What the fuck is going on? No, this is absolutely crazy. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I seriously can't do this. This is absolute fucking madness. But anyways, guys, that's really all I had to fucking sh share to you. I just feel like this timeline shit, like all within a month and you get all these perspectives and you see it in art form. I feel like that's very, very fucking important, guys. It's like this. You you're seeing these different perspectives of like the same thing in our form, and it it just is one of those most consumed our forms. Like like you know, in terms of live mu live music is still the number one entertainment there or live entertainment, I'd say. And fucking if you see, <laughs> like I can't wait. I just want to see a world where all these guys are performing those songs you know it's a bit of a shame j cole ain't never performing seven minute this a uh, seven minute this seven minute drill but i hope kendrick might perform like that or future performs like that or you know like i or if con you know just keep it going guys there's something right now that's alive it's kicking It's kicking. I'm not saying. And in this world, you really can't shoot and kill each other anyways. All you can do is, all you can do is the worst possible. Guys, in this modern world, for those fucking rappers or not even rappers, for those celebrities, the worst outcome is not even to be fucking assassinated. The worst outcome is to be fucking exposed that you're gay or something or that you like children. Like, that's the worst. So... You know, if you put it in perspective, that's not really bad. You're still alive and shit, you know. It's only if you go up to the fucking elitist, you know, Illuminati, then you, you motherfuckers are starting to get killed. You know what I'm saying? Then, 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 then that's when, you know. Oh, fuck, it's a shame, dude. And at the same time, who knows? Like, who knows if this, I have a friend who lives in fucking Taipei right now. He, he just goes through like, two or three thank you thank you for the balloons he just goes through like two or three or four or five earthquakes a day like if we're just like you know chilling in the evening gaming he's just like oh yeah you know it's fucking shaking a little bit right now like it's getting a little crazy i'm like what that's a world so like almost like fuck it if the snow comes in and i get a little wet so fucking what i'm a little bit cold i don't want to be sitting in my fucking house and all of a sudden the world is fucking shaking underneath me like it's the fucking harlem shake or something it's doing the fucking harlem shake you know what i'm saying like that's just ridiculous that's just fucking ridiculous no one wants the fucking world to be doing a fucking harlem shake okay like you know it's only fun when humans do it 
whatever the fuck happened to Harlem Shake. Anyways, cocksuckers. It's Wednesday. It's beautiful. I'm going uh, to put on a little, just, uh, just a little pause, okay? Get the vibes going a little bit. I'm hot just like an oven. How's everyone feeling? Everyone good? Everyone good in here? Let me know uh, what you want to do this weekend. Let me know. Put it down. Drop it down. What you want to fucking do. Put it one word. I don't even want a sentence. I don't want to fucking know what you're going to do to your fucking girlfriend, okay? Or what lie you're going to fucking pull to your parents. I don't fucking know. Just get over here. Tell me what fuck you're going to achieve. Let me put one word out for you this fucking. What I'm trying to achieve. One word for this weekend. Hmm. What could it be? Pussy. <laughs> Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm kidding. You know, it's actually interesting. I'm getting caught off guard a little bit. I'm looking like that way all the time because uh, I'm. Uh, I actually, I, I don't want to be cheesy, but I like you know. I buy if I buy a loaf of bread nowadays. You know, I don't really like the end bits. You know, I just like the good old cuts of toast. You know, so the end bits, what I do is I put it aside. You know, I might throw a little olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, just like there, but I leave it outside, let it dry, let it dehydrate. Next day, put the, get the grater on, you know, grate some breadcrumbs and shit, and then I'll just throw it in, in a little bowl, put it right there on my balcony, and then look, I got fucking, I got birds coming in. That's why I'm a little bit distracted here. I should be looking at the fucking camera, but... These little birds are flying in. It's fucking beautiful. I gotta meet them. I gotta start fucking naming them. Like Larry. There's Larry the bird. Oh, there's Bob. How you doing, Bob? Hey, here's a little breadcrumb for you, Bob. <laughs> uh, but anyways, that's how antisocial I'm becoming. I gotta make friends with fucking birds. <laughs> Like, I can't even, like, I can't even socialize with people anymore. That's too much for me. Birds, they're nice. They sing a nice song. I always like people who sing, you know. You just fuck talking. Just sing to me. You know, that's beautiful right there. So, actually, yeah. I, I actually have more breadcrumbs to fucking give. I'm going to fucking load them up right after this one. But anyways, it's fucking beautiful. Beautiful Wednesday, they, you know, as soon as, see, because these fucking guys are suffering out there with the snow, I gotta give them something, you know, to keep them going, you know, they gotta feed the kids, you gotta think about this shit, you gotta be considerable, but humans, they want help, you, these beggars on the street, fuck them, I don't, I'm not giving them a coin, <laughs> Oh, no, f dude, what am I, like a fucking, like, what am I, a fucking straight up charity, a walking charity, like, I ain't about that shit, you know, what the fuck, dude, like, I'd rather just be straight up, nah, okay, I'm kidding, guys, just fucking, just calm down, anyways, hey, hey, ho, ho, it's Wednesday, um, what else do I have, guys, you know what I've been recently really happy about? It's uh, the fact that in my fridge currently, I got mustard, ketchup, and mayonnaise. And not that I'm saying, not that I'm trying to like get you to look at my like diet or anything like that, but I just feel like in this modern world, you got a fridge. I feel like to the, the very basics of having a good fucking fridge is you got you got some condiments okay of course you maybe like have a couple fruit you know maybe a carton of milk some yogurt i don't know what the fuck okay some pro i don't know okay but like let's just say the average fridge you know what's a good sign it's got uh, lots of condiments right like th stuff to you know spice and pimp out your meal you know what i'm saying so for the longest time i lived by myself at home but in my fridge i didn't have a uh, didn't have ketchup honestly out of everything i mostly had mustard and then i sometimes had mayonnaise right and finally after all these years you know of living uh of living alone i've finally reached the 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 stability the point of stability where i have 
consecutively at the same time I have ketchup, mustard, and fucking mayonnaise. It's beautiful. And there's like a sense of freedom there. Because it's just like, you know, you can do anything. You can really do anything. Now you're not limited. You can do anything. But I've also realized that, you know, it's very, like you, a lot of people do have condiments. They have different type of condiments. You know, mayo isn't just mayonnaise. It's fucking chili mayo, garlic mayo, this mayo, that mayo. Ketchup too. It's not even, or fucking low sugar mayo, or you fucking, you buy this brand. No, no, no. What am I talking about? Fucking ketchup, you know? Well, mayo too, different fucking brands or whatever the fuck. But yeah, well, low. Oh my god, isn't there low fat mayonnaise? Oh god, oh god. If you're buying mayo that's low fat, you should just fucking you just kill. You're just kidding yourself. You might as well don't fucking eat mayo. It's just I don't understand. But anyways, let's move on. And then there's you know ketchup that's low sugar, and then you have mustard. There's all types of yellow mustard. You know we have Finnish more traditional. Uh, not traditional, but like more mellow, uh, mild mustard. And then there's all also like Dijon, but then like just mustard seeds. You know what I'm saying? So it mustard, you know, everything comes in different forms. And then you kind of pay attention to what different people have in their fridge. It's just like, okay, what kind of mayonnaise do they have? Do they even have ketchup or mustard or is it only mayonnaise or is it just ketchup and mustard or is it only mustard or is it only ketchup like all these things you after all these years of paying attention and of like seeing different fridges right you start putting the dots together a little bit um and i feel like low-key you know i've kind of fucking picked that up with with women a little bit like i've noticed like women based on their preference of condiment i can kind of uh, picture what they're like like their personality or let's just say values or you know other stuff as well you know um for example like right uh ketchup mustard and mayo right ketchup mustard mayo i think if a chick prefers ketchup right ketchup is known for being like you know like sweet very like you know like at least tomato ketchup i actually fucking read <laughs> i wikipedia ketchup and i had to fu- i went out this fucking rabbit hole of ketchup. it it used to be called cat soup like cat almost like cat soup but cat soup and it used to be made of mushrooms but then at one point it got turned into tomatoes. But anyways, let's let's just talk about regular Heinz tomato ketchup, right? It's sweet. It's sweet. And then, you know, like that's kind of like what the chicks are like that prefer ketchup. They're sweet, super nice, super friendly, almost like the kind that you don't have to seduce. You could just kind of like trick them into like just being super nice yourself. And then all of a sudden you're on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> type of shit just trick him like it's just like oh we're just being friends right it's just doing each other favors as friends right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah fucking ketchup that's what i was saying and i swear like by the time you've uh you know you've seduced her and gone to the bed i swear at that point she's probably just gonna look you dead in the eye and say like you can put it in anything <laughs> You can put the ketchup in anything. You can put it in anything. I don't care. Fuck it. <laughs> and then, and then, while you're climaxing, she'll say, "You can put it on it." <laughs> uh, what about fucking mustard? What about mustard? Okay, what do we fucking have mustard? Okay, chicks who love mustard, who prefer mustard, they're probably like chicks that don't want to be the center of attention. Because mustard's never like, like unless if it's like a strong honey mustard or something. Or like, I don't know, like a really spicy mustard. It's not really the center of attention. It's usually, it's on the, it's just, it's just complimenting. It's just there, you know, not trying to, it's just trying to do her own thing type of thing, you know. But the chicks that like mustard, I swear mustard requires a lot of meat 
A lot of meat. <laughs> you got mustard goes with me. I'm saying, and it's a lot of meat. Sometimes extra meat. Oh shit! Fucking, I don't know if I can handle that personally. Like two different types of meat. Like. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, last but not least, fucking mayonnaise. Jesus Christ, mayonnaise. I gotta talk about mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Well, chicks that prefer... Look, I'm gonna get straight to the point. If chicks prefer mayo, they're probably like fucking straight up crack addicts. They have tendencies of a crack addict because chicks who prefer mayo probably fucking don't just prefer it. They fucking love it. They're in love with it. They can't get enough of it. They want it on everything. So, with that sense, they're fucking crack addicts for mayo. And they're fiending for mayo. Once the time you hook up with them, that they, they're going to want that human mayo. Dude, they want that. They want that human mayo. You know what I'm saying? Dude, they want that fucking... Dude, I was so fucking silly today. I love it. I love it, guys. This is a little bit of sun. See, this is what happens. I took I took six vitamin D pills. I'm probably gonna overdose on vitamin D, um, if that's even possible. But fuck, we're alive. We're kicking it. Fucking mayonnaise, dude. I think society would almost be a better place without condiments, you know, it gives, it's more discipline than you can't just fucking throw something on that makes it a little bit more delicious, you know, you gotta, you gotta really, you gotta get through the grittiness of life and shit, you know, and, um, fuck man, maybe that's what mother nature is really doing that's just like this snow is just her mayonnaise she's just cooking up this mayonnaise on us uh. Uh. but dude fuck if she ever fucking throws mustard on anything that's just ooh ooh dude ladies and gentlemen it's been fucking real um we've kicked it along the way for 30 minutes this is all i really wanted to hit you with i don't think there's anything more for me to hit you with there's gonna be a awesome weekend and uh it's gonna be may day by next week i'm gonna be fucking possibly hung over shit next week on this episode because uh i'm going out to a party i'm gonna go out and meet some people possibly maybe throw on the whole shtick of being a Hollywood movie director. Hey, my name's Josh. Josh Morgan. Yeah, I made a couple of short films so far. I'm more into the indie scene because I I feel like the art is more honest. You know, I feel <laughs> oh my god it's crazy this uh this it's getting better that's the whole thing i mean like as much as it sucks right now being outside at least it's gonna get better right that way uh, i ain't gotta worry about too much uh, what is there politically is there anything for me to say just to to really fucking throw a curveball no, I fucking see. It's just that ketchup thing had me fucking go in there because I just had to do the research on the ketchup thing and it really fucked me up. And the rab beef thing, guys, you got it. You got it. I had to get that out of my chest. It might have not have been the most comedic, humorous thing, but I had to get that out of my chest. It's real shit that's going down, and motherfuckers are still saying crazy shit during all of this thing. It's just like it's just madness, guys. It's madness. And it's all happening, uh, you know, Wednesday, midday. We're going to get through the weekend and it's going to be May Day. We're going to get to the May side. Um, let's not hope for more flash floods or these surprise April snowstorms. And then maybe Mother Nature next year for Earth Day will be much nicer to us. And uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, praise God. 
go for the chick that likes ketchup. <laughs> or, or you know how to treat a fat, a bad bitch now, right? So if if you treat a bad bitch like a, like she average, and Kanye treats a bad bitch like a fat bitch, then I'm gonna treat a bad bitch. Like her fucking rad bitch. Like she's fucking rad. You know, like she's just like sick with it. You know, type of thing. Wait, like she average. Like she fat bitch. Well, then there's only... Treat a bad bitch like a goddess. Is that too cheese then? Is that absolutely too cheese? But anyways, guys. I'm really trying to fucking come up with something funny to fucking end it all. But I really do think fucking Jesus fucking Christ. I don't even know anymore. Praise God. Praise Allah. Uh, praise Taylor Swift. Um, praise Rihanna. Really, I got to throw that in there. Um, praise Orlando Bloom and Johnny Depp because they're still killing it. They were pirates at one point. Now they're not fucking pirates anymore. Fucking Jesus Christ. I watched Pirates of the Caribbean last night or Caribbean. How the fuck do you, <laughs> how the fuck do you pronounce Cari- Caribbean? Isn't that how you're supposed Caribbean? But anyways, fucking fantastic movies. Great actors gave me kind of like a feel of like, what it was like back in the day because it came out when we were kids but still i and i can't believe penelope cruz was in the old ones even though she's married to the fucking you know the fucking goat uh, you know the the guy right i'm forgetting his name right now i'm blanking out but he was in the newest one the spinoff one who the fuck likes Captain? Uh, like, who the fuck likes par- pirates anymore? And it's like it's so sad because pirates are sick. Because like the whole concept of being the captain of the ship, and then it's just like if you get lost or you're not the leader, then you're not obviously the fucking captain, and some other captain's gonna take your fucking place. So then like, because a lot of people say like the team captain or some shit like that, in like the like the regular way that we say it now, but then we don't correlate it to the fact that like that you used to be like a captain of the ship and that you would just go out and sail and then you might get lost. You might not. And if you get fucking lost and you're not leading the fucking men, then you're not the fucking captain. They might as well throw you off the fucking ship. So be a fucking captain. That's what I'm trying to get to you. Be a motherfucking captain of your own goddamn path of your own goddamn ship. That's sailing right along the horizon towards better things towards the land of freedom wherever that is the goal that is ahead so ladies and gentlemen don't worry about it number four i'll see you guys next week it's been real have a great one have a great week